Hello and welcome back to 30 products in 30 days. We're building an app every single day and we're making a video to go alongside each one. So if you're new here, do subscribe. Yesterday was a bit of a grind. We pulled ourselves through a three hour deployment to an evening. If you haven't watched that video, go back and watch it. We cloned Opus Clip. It's a bit beefy, but we pulled through in the end and I'm pretty happy with the result and I'm looking forward to building more on it and working a bit more with video. But today we're not doing video. We're going back to a more simple LLM text-based generation app today. I've had this idea on my mind for a long time, so I'm pretty pumped about this one. So make sure you stay tuned. I think you're gonna like this. So here's the pain, you're using OpenAI, you're using ChatGPT, you're using Claude, you're going to the web version, you're asking them to help out with a bunch of different tasks that you, let's say you're working on a new project, you want it to come up with a name, then you want it to come up with landing page copy. Then you want a bit of design feedback, you want it to critique your design. But every single time you're talking to the LLM, it's just got that generic training. Unless you've created a specialized project and trained it and given it context about what the best landing page copy looks like or what sort of keywords you wanna go after or perhaps what welcome email vibe you're after. And yeah, you can do this on the fly, but what if you could go to a place where you were getting help with all these different tasks and you knew that every task was specialized in one way or another. Instead of just using one vanilla LLM for everything, you're using specialized LLMs for loads of different things. That's what we're going for today. I like to think of it as the Fiverr for AI. The lovely thing with Fiverr is you can go and you can browse all these different services from different people, which is amazing, but they all cost you a bit of money. It used to be a Fiverr, now it's a lot more. So I think they might maybe need to change the name now. So that's the sort of vibe I'm going for. You come to the site, you explore, but instead of people, they're gonna be AI agents. And we'll call them AI agents. I use the word agents loosely. Some people have strong opinions on what is and isn't an agent, but for simplicity, thinking about them as agents works well because they're all gonna be specialized in different things. And if you've used Claude code sub agents or anything like that, then you'll know the sort of vibe where you can prompt specialists to do different things. So yeah, I'm excited. That's enough chit chat. Let's jump into the build. Okay, I'm quite liking this new center cam setup. Okay, so I did a bit of a bad time for it, but I did just update my Mac. So I had to go a bit old school, I had to go pen and paper the plan in this project but let me quickly give you the rundown okay so the flow here that i'm thinking is you come to the site you browse all the agents in the same way you come to fiverr and you browse all these different services from people and i think they've probably got a bunch of ai stuff on it now and you go there you browse you pick an agent you can read about it maybe some examples you place the order and then you wait won't be long should be quick delivery and then you can have a look at it and then revise the output if needed. I don't really want it to just be like a chat. I think the place in order UX is nice. That could also allow us to do longer tasks in future, especially. So let's say a task might take 10 minutes. We might need to stitch a bunch of stuff together. We might need to go and do research. Or I say we, the agents might need to go and do research. Okay, so this is a sort of vibe that I'm thinking here. So we've got like SEO keywords, Google ads, blog writer, copy reviewer, Facebook ads, YouTube title specialist. And what I want here is not like, a oh, this app does this. I want to personify it a bit. So it feels instead of triggering software, thinking about it more like you're hiring an agent. I think that's a cool way to think about AI products and where you can deliver a lot more value because you could charge a lot more money. Let's say I have a user research SaaS that takes a bunch of research you have, creates reports, creates insights, bundles it all together. How much would you pay? You know, if I was selling that into a company, they might only think, oh, SaaS software, maybe $20 a month, $50 a month. But if you can position it in a way that it's almost like hiring a entry level user researcher, then that will cost the company two, three grand a month perhaps. So then positioning it and charging $200 a month doesn't seem that bad. So that's almost what I want to have this vibe here. So again, we're not gonna be able to execute all these perfectly today, but you know, instead of a tweet generator, it's, hey, you're hiring a tweet copywriter to create a bunch of tweets. And that already sounds a bit more enticing. It sounds a bit more interesting to me anyway. So I did admittedly so I did actually whip up this little convex chef number earlier, just after I edited the videos. Making up with five a clone, but instead of every user, everything is an agent. I don't think it would do. And then I use the enhance prompt button. So that went ahead and cooked it. So what I'll do is I'll bring that to my laptop and then I'll show you what we've got as a starting point. And again, if you're new to the channel, you know that I use convex chef to get all my projects started. It uses convex, which is like a 
database alternative it just makes everything easier most of the time it makes things easier okay so here's what we've got so far basically we've got find the perfect ai agent so we've got a few here already they've got these names maybe it would be cool to generate a few images for them and so you can come through select campaign type here and then you can start the task is basically to have a bit more okay order management system so instead of just the usual like ai response we're going to try and make it feel a little bit more polished so you're going to be told all right check back in a minute and then you're going to have it like an orders page where you can view your delivered work which actually gives people a bit more of a taste of what it could be like as we go forward working with these ai agents and getting them to go off and do little jobs and yeah for today of course they're going to be small jobs but something like this could definitely develop and in a way each agent within this could be its own product i like to think of this project as the final boss of ai rappers you know, everyone likes to have a joke about ai rappers oh we're just wrapping an open ai key but for this we're like wrapping a bunch of them putting them all in one place and then adding a bit of swaz to it okay so whilst we've got this cooking up in chef i'm going to take these and start to generate a json of prompts that we can use for each one so we'll head over to claude check this is working yeah this is struggling a bit on this we might need to bring it into locally to do that. Take a step back. Take a step back and then see what's up and go again. There's some TypeScript issues. No problem. Okay, so we've got our first job here by Sarah Chen, apparently in marketing. So we get notifications as each step is complete and we can see the different steps here coming in. And so that is pretty sweet out of the gate. So I think what we'll do now is bring it locally and get Claude to initialize with everything. And then I think we'll off to races and hopefully today we can have some fun vibe coding. I always find with these projects, there's two things you can be doing. And I like to think it's 80, 20, 80% 80 of these projects is not actually vibe coding. It's getting things set up. It's deploying, getting databases, it's doing backend stuff. But once you've got that foundation, that's when the fun part starts. And it's not always 80 20 here it might be 20 percent just getting things set up and then the other bit is getting all the agents and the prompts working and deploying this should be pretty chill uh, if we're working on clips like yesterday uh, it's mostly grunt work like <laughs> setting up servers for ffmpeg processing and that sort of stuff i think that is part of the challenge because if you only want to do the vibe part then you're never going to deploy people are never going to use it you're never going to get any signals if what you're building is good or not so if you do want to do this app building thing, you need to get thick skin and you just need to pull yourself through all the shit stuff, really. That is just a part of life. Okay, so we've just made a few adjustments here. So we're now showing the final result and we're only going to show notifications for when it's complete and you can still go and look at the process. Maybe we don't show the process. Maybe we just show the magic. Nah, maybe show the process. And it goes back to my user research example, like, agent for agents you want the outcome of them rather than just like back and forth chats i need to polish up my thoughts on that because i do have a bunch of thoughts but anyway let's bring this locally and start cooking the rest and the reason i do that is because we only have so many tokens within convex we don't want to rip through them all and we pay for claw code so we may as well use claude and yeah so we'll get that set up i'm going to install shadzien and actually i'll show you how i do that because right now it looks a bit... I think if Convex Chef adds Shatty, they're going to be doing good. But it's already feeling like a bit of an app here, right? With your notifications, with your jobs, with the browse agents. I like it. For some reason, it also makes everything like a single page app. I don't know why it does that. Cool, but a little bit weird at the same time. Okay, so here's what we're going to do. We're going to unzip the thing we just downloaded from Chef. We're going to bring it into a new file. We don't need to do that, but we do that anyway. And then we're going to CD into this guy here. Oops. No, we're not. We're going to CD space and then drag that in. And then we're going to do Claude dangerously skip permissions. And then we're going to ask Claude. Let's first init, which is basically going to get Claude to go through and familiarize itself with the project. Then after that, we'll ask it to set it up. And then we'll, I think we'll start making it look a bit nice. We've got the basic functionality. Let's work on a bit of a nicer canvas today, especially after yesterday. Okay, so let us, we're going to try the Shadzien MCP. So we'll add that and then install Shadzien. So Claude Code will run this. We'll ask Claude Code to run it. Can you run this? So that should do that. And then after that, we'll kick off this Shadzien installation. Then we're also going to come over to the Vite because we're using Vite here, Convex Chef. And we'll just copy the page here. 
it was like cool now install shut paste that in so that might take a little bit of time might take five minutes unfortunately the process of installing shatien isn't always the simplest but it usually does the job and once we've got shatien up we can use tweaksien to make it look even better but what we'll have to do before that we'll have to take the components we've got on the ui elements and turn them into shatien elements okay so now it's trying but as you can see it's trying to see what's going on here yep that looks familiar doesn't it okay this doesn't look very good does it might just need to restart or something we got another one nice just have to do this a few times usually it's always a little bit of wrestling as i was saying earlier it's not all fun and games you just gotta trust that you will eventually get it let's bring that a bit smaller there we go look at that lovely chatien doesn't get much better does it well done this looks great thank you the app is looking great all right check back in a sec okay there we go i think we do have it working now so then what we'll do is we'll kick off a task which is going to be changing this to Shatien components. It looks pretty nice, but but before we'll kick off our GitHub. So we made a new repo in GitHub and then we're going to copy this link and say to Claw Code, please set it up just so we've got a save base and we can now mess around and break everything. And then we've always got safe state to go back to. Okay, so now we're going to try and make all our UI components Shatien. Please use Shatien MCP, which I haven't actually tried before. We might need to, okay, we've got this agents prompt here, which is basically gonna show us how to make the agents, but let's cancel out this and then we'll resume, resume this and then we'll do four slash MCP to check. And it's saying we haven't got the MCP set up. Okay, so I had the wrong audio settings on OBS for this. So as you can see, we're setting up Shatien here and then Tweaksien. So we got this looking nice and then after that, we went to we yeah, have a little browser there then we went to basically set up our agents so we actually got core code to set up all the agents and the prompts so we gave it that list as you can see here and then it went through and basically yeah basically just spun up a prompt for each one and it gave it a three-step process and here you can see i'm checking in the database and i'm saying why isn't it there but we get them in eventually and then we start thinking you know what we need some better photos here it's looking a bit plain so we think, oh, these icons are quite nice, aren't they? So then we go to Claude and we say, give me a prompt that will get me an image like this. And we try it out in our cheap Flux Chanel model on Replicate. Yeah, we set up a flow within Claude Code that will go and programmatically generate a image for each one, which you'll see in a second. Hey team, how's it going? I've literally just realized that all these things here have not had any audio. So hopefully I did a voiceover for the <laughs> clips before. Blimey, we are in the blender, aren't we? Anyway, we've made it out to production way before midnight this evening, which is nice. So five agents stop for Zelda app. Here you can browse your different agents. So I will craft engaging social media posts. I will write technical documentation. I'll design email campaigns. I'll create SEO optimized content. So let's go for this one. We'll put in some keywords, PRD generator, content type, blog post, sidecar, okay, word count. Let's just go for a quick one. So we'll start the job here and you can see here, it's gonna say processing step one. And we can actually go away and start another job if we want, because we can, we'll be notified once the job's complete. So we'll start step one, which is input analysis. So it's gonna take everything we've put in here, as you can see, maybe I'll move this. There you go. Now you can see the different steps properly. So you can see we've got, we've stitching together different steps here. So it's creating a nice blog post. And like I said, we've actually done this product before but now we've got the product of all products the ultimate final boss of ai wrappers so now we'll wait until it's finished cooking and come back okay so there we have it we've got a little notification job completed so we've got a job here we'll come here we've got our final result how our prd generator can streamline your product development process very nice lovely formatted and we can go through as well and look at all the content and then we can go back to our agents and kick off something else Maybe we want to create a good YouTube title. So let's say this video is about vibe coding agent. So then we'll start that job. And again, it's going to take all the inputs and generate the content and then do a bit of QA. We like a bit of QA here on the channel. Now, we don't usually have time for QA, but luckily our agents do. Obviously, I haven't had time to make every agent super sick and like, a prompt for everyone. But yeah, like I said, I've had this idea for a long time and now we've got it in production, which is cool. 
it would be sweet to create some really good agents here that can go and do stuff. What would also be cool is right now we've just got text generation, but we could also do audio or image generation. And what could be cool as well is allowing the agents to use tools. This means actually go away at different APIs. So for example, we could do a keyword research tool that would plug into a keywords API. So in its process, it could give you a report. Now that is valuable. To keep an eye out on five agents, I think we may change the name there, but anyway, we've got some title ideas here. Not the greatest, but we can tweak that. We can definitely tweak that. But other than that, cheers to today's video. No midnight scramble, luckily, like I said. We'll catch you back here tomorrow. Wish us luck because we need all the luck we can get at this point in the journey because we're just having to truck on now. All the best.